hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is sharon and please consider subscribing for more amazing content so in today's video guys i'm basically going to be talking to you guys about how i was able to shop products from china and ship to nigeria without any procurement agents yeah i'm basically going to be giving you guys all the information my journey or my um experience and all of that kind of stuff okay so if you're interested keep on Watch it. So I used to be like a lover of online shopping. Like I shop things a lot from the internet and when I got to know about um, this app, AliExpress, and how affordable things are on the app and all of that kind of stuff, like they have really amazing stuff on there, I started to shop things from AliExpress. So then I was just basically shopping things for my personal use but one of the disadvantages of shopping from AliExpress if you're in Nigeria is that it takes a really long time for the item to come because on AliExpress you can shop directly and they can ship directly to your location. So I used to shop from AliExpress and they would ship it down to Nigeria. So what I used to do then was that if I need something, I don't even order for items that I need urgently okay so i only order for items that i know that oh i can wait till whenever the item arrives here and then i would make use of it okay so what i normally do is if i need something i would order for them beforehand because at that time i was ordering from aliexpress it takes about roughly a month or even more than you know during the coronavirus time it took about five months from for a package to get to nigeria <laughs> so yeah i used to order for items beforehand like order for them and you know basically just wait for them to come i'm not really bothered about how long it's going to take to come to nigeria and one really amazing thing about the app is that you have a trade assurance with the app if you order for item directly on the app where you can you know get your money back if you don't get your item or if um, the product that is being delivered to you isn't good so most times when the product exceed that time that protection time you can request for a refund and then you get back your money if they track it and they are sure that the item hasn't gotten to you and stuff like that so that was what i was doing but when i started my wig business and i needed like a fast shipping method that was really challenging because I cannot order for something I want to sell and I'm waiting for for two to three months to get it. I started to look for faster ways that I can get these items to me if I should order from China and stuff like that. So I went online and there was a page that I found online on Instagram. I'm not going to mention the name of the page because you guys are going to know the reason why. So I don't want it to look like I'm spoiling the ladies' business. Yeah, so I found that page on Instagram and I messaged her you know while I was making inquiries because I'm this kind of a person that if I have something in mind that I want to do I tend to plan towards it so I don't wait till that moment I don't wait till when I want to do this thing before I start you know making plans I tend to plan beforehand so I got her number and I messaged her on whatsapp and I asked oh how is this thing going to be like she's a procurement agent what she does is you get the links of your items and send to her and she will help you place the order and you're going to pay her in naira and then she will help you pay for the item in usd okay so i messaged her you know making inquiries trying to know how i'm going to go about it and all of that kind of stuff and then she told me the process and her rates for shipping and everything and she was like the shipping duration is about two weeks and i'm like wow that's really nice two weeks is not so long to wait compared to waiting on aliexpress for a month and even more than a month sometimes you're not even sure of how long it's going to take you get so i was like oh that's fine and then i tried to like you know um experiment to know how it is so i went online i went on google and then i took the link of the item from the aliexpress app like I basically opened my um, AliExpress account on Google and I got the link of the item and I sent to her and then she sent me the quotes for the item and when she sent me the quote she was like I'm not going to pay for shipping I'm just going to pay for the price of the product and then when the product gets to Nigeria I'll pay for shipping meaning no local um, shipping charge so I was like wow that's nice that's really nice so while I was on it 
I misplaced my phone and then I couldn't retrieve the line and so I got another phone number. At this time I was ready to like you know start buying things from China for my business. So I messaged this lady again with my new line and I was like okay hi um one time i messaged you for i i misplaced the phone so this is my new line and yeah i'm i'm ready to like purchase this item okay so i sent her the new links of the new items that i want to purchase including the first one that i sent to her before and i asked her for the quotes and when she sent me the quotes i started seeing local local shipping charge local shipping charge and i'm like ah. but i thought you told me there was no local delivery fee before so i was confused and this local delivery charge I'm seeing were really really high, some were nine dollars, six dollars, and most of these items I'm buying, some of them were not even up to the amount that she was asking me to pay, or she said they were asking me to pay for local delivery fee. So I was confused. I was confused, and I, I, and I asked her like, "Hello, um, the first time I messaged you, you didn't say anything about local delivery charge. So why are you?" asking me to pay for that now and this lady did not she didn't reply me like she just ghosted me and she was the only person i had in mind like i i just had her in mind that oh if i'm going to start doing this thing she's going to be the one that i'll be working with like she didn't just reply me and i was like ah hello what's up so it was at that point i knew that i had to go look for another agent to work with and then i went back on instagram i started to search for procurement agents i searched i got so many phone numbers of these procurement agents i got so many phone numbers and i started to message all of them on whatsapp so some of them replied some didn't reply some took longer to reply and luckily one of them replied and was like they don't do procurement from alibaba so i forgot to mention this i also discovered the alibaba app and I was basically shopping from both AliExpress and Alibaba. So when I sent them the links, they were like, they don't do procurement from AliExpress and Alibaba, but what they can help me do is to give me their um, warehouse address and I will do the purchase myself. Like I'll buy the item myself and send it to their warehouse. They like give my suppliers their warehouse address and then my suppliers will send the products to their warehouse and they will help me consolidate my order and send it to Nigeria. At this point i was really happy because if i was to use a procurement agent like the lady i initially wanted to use i would have to pay her in naira and when i'm paying her in naira i'm using the what's called the black market rate so if for example i'm buying something worth hundred dollars and the black market rate is 500 and uh, let's say 570 naira whereas my bank is charging me 400 and um 18 naira per dollar but black market rate is saying 570 naira per dollar meaning that 100 dollars is going to be 57,000 naira if i'm using the procurement agent but if i'm making the purchase myself with my debit card i'm going to be using my bank rate which is 480 naira and a hundred dollar is going to be 48,000 naira so you can see the um, difference like there's so much difference and i was really happy that i'm going to be doing the purchase myself so i'm bypassing that um black market rates that i'm going to be using if i'm using a procurement agent and this way is going to save me lots of money and even the agent i was supposed to use that's the lady i talked about she charges um 10 10 percent of whatever you're buying so if you're buying something worth hundred dollars you are going to be paying her ten dollars as her charge for you know doing the procurement for you i didn't really think about that because i felt always oh, her business that's how she makes her money off from it but the fact that I can actually do this purchase myself and send the items to the warehouse of the agent I was working with now was really amazing because now I'm bypassing paying agent fee for procurement and also bypassing the dollar um, black market dollar rate. So at this point, I was really happy. But I started to experience challenges, okay? So where the challenges came from was that you know that I could chat with my supplier. So I basically felt that I just have to like make the purchase via the app and then have them ship it down to the location and i was trying to change my address on the aliexpress app but i couldn't change to a china address so i was really worried and i messaged the agents the new agents that i'm working with i'm going to leave 
their um, what's it called their instagram handle in the description box so i messaged them and i'm like oh i can't change my address what can i do and they were like chat up chat up your supplier talk to your supplier and you know ask them if they can ship to our address so i had to look out oh god i started to look for a way that i could chat up with the supplier and i found you know an icon on the app where they say chat with supplier and i chatted with the supplier but one issue is that if you don't change your address they, they are going to charge you for shipping to the address that is on the app and the address that is on the app is a nigerian address so and you know shipping down to nigeria for some item were really expensive as compared to shipping to a china address since they are in china okay so it was really challenging for me though i had then i had to like chat up with the supplier and they were like okay no problem um, I should place the order but not make payments that if I place the order and not make payment the app is going to send a notification to them that an order has been placed but the order has not been paid for so what they will do is that they are going to adjust the shipping fee since they are sending it to a China address and then I can make payments afterwards okay so for Alibaba there was no stress at all doing that okay it was really easy doing that on alibaba but where i had issues with was on aliexpress because on alibaba you can just basically send the supplier the stuff to like help you you know do everything the price and everything and then send you a link to pay but on, on aliexpress you have to place the order yourself and then if you are placing the order your card is already attached to your account and if you place the order they are going to debit you okay so it was really challenging for me luckily one of the cards that i have on the account was my former card that got stolen and then i had already blocked the card so it was easy for me to use that card and when i was trying to use the card to pay because the card has been blocked already they'll just tell me that the um, payments didn't go so that way i was able to place the order and not make payments for it so you can either use a card that's not valid or a card that there's no money inside okay so that way the payment will not go but if you do it with a card that there is money inside and the card is working, they are going to debit you and you, are, and you have to pay for Nigerian shipping. Okay, so that card details was what I was using. That's my old card details that got stolen. So that was what I was using. So when I'm ready to make payments, I just use the card because the details are already there. And then they will send a notification to the seller or the supplier. And then I'll go back to message them and tell them, oh, I've already placed the order. You can help me adjust the price and, you know, stuff like that. So they'll do that. And then I'll go back to pay with my valid card. So that was how I was doing it on both apps. And now the next problem I encountered was the $100 um, monthly threshold on your Nigerian debit card. Here in Nigeria, we have the $100 threshold. Like you can't make international transaction for more than $100 in a month. And that means if you're buying something worth more than $100, you cannot pay for it using one card. So that was a big struggle. Initially, I thought my card was what had issues because all the time that I was buying stuff from these apps that, that were shipping directly to me, I had never spent up to $100. So I didn't even know that this was an issue until when I wanted to like stock up for my business because when I want to stock up for my business I had to buy more than a hundred dollar so when I was trying to pay like they were telling me that I, I had reached my threshold so I was like ah, how because I have not even you know made any purchase so I don't even understand why so I kept on trying and trying and trying till my card got blocked and I had to go to the bank so it was when I went to the bank to like open my card and stuff then i asked questions and they told me that oh there is a hundred dollar threshold on your card meaning you can't do more than a hundred dollar a month so i was worried like oh, god how am i going to like do this like if i have to buy something for 500 600 dollar how am i going to do it so what i did was that i used a card and then my boyfriend's card as well so i used our cards and luckily so at the time I was trying to buy those items, it was around June 29th. So I made, I paid for some of the items in June 29th, and then the two days after, it was already July. So I could, you know, pay for some of the items. So I used our two cards, and I think everything I bought was around 
um, 300 and something dollars almost 400 dollars so it was easy for me to use both cards because it was already ending of june so ending of june i made purchase for 200 dollar item and in july i paid for the rest item so if you're buying an item that the item just one item is more than a hundred dollar what you can do is to ask your supplier supplier to help you split the price so you can maybe one should be like 90 something dollars and the other will be the rest if you make it a hundred dollar it might be difficult for you to make that payment because there's going to be some charges and if they add that charges to the hundred dollar it's going to be more than a hundred dollars so you can tell them to make it 19 something and then the rest should be the other price or you can split it yourself just basically find a way to like go about it okay so you can also get multiple cards like if you have multiple bank accounts you can get multiple cards and you want to ensure that these cards are either visa or master cards because i think they don't accept verb because i tried to use one of my verb cards and it didn't work so you can either use a visa or a master card that's what i'm currently doing i initially had the mindset of opening a domiciliary account for online transaction you know like for zenith bank they have two types of domiciliary accounts okay one is the one that you can only use to receive money receive payments and all of that kind of stuff but you can't use it for online transaction and the other one is the one that you can use to receive money do online transactions do everything but um, to open i think you need a one thousand dollar threshold to open the account but that's not even the issue while i was on it i was planning to open that domiciliary account i got to find out that if you're using domiciliary account for online transaction you would have to buy dollars yourself and deposit in the account so you cannot deposit naira and use for online transaction you have to buy dollar and um, deposits and when you're buying dollar you know banks don't sell dollars to individuals so you have to go buy from black markets and that's that will also take you back to the black market rate so when i realized that i just felt that that wasn't even it for me so i was just basically working with using multiple cards i have about five bank accounts so for all of them i have a master and visa cards that i use for these online transactions so if you don't buy much like maybe let's say around 500 to 600 or 700 dollars you can work with you using multiple bank accounts yours your family members you know basically people around you you can just ask them to help you and use their cards to make purchases online but if you're buying much like thousands of dollars then you can consider the domiciliary account option okay or you can also use procurement agents you can also use agents some agents like my agent that i use for shipping they also help to pay suppliers but why i don't even consider that is because that will also take me to the black market rates okay so yeah that's it that's all for the hundred dollar threshold stuff okay so after i finally made the purchase i asked my suppliers to send the stuff to the warehouse of my agent and then when we got to the warehouse and all of the items were complete i sent the tracking numbers to my agents and when they checked and they found out that all of the items that i sent their tracking numbers to them were in the warehouse they helped me consolidate it and sent it down to nigeria and the first one that i did i think the shipping duration for the first one was 10 to 12 days yes for 10 to 12 days and, I, and when they told me it would be in nigeria within from 10 to 12 days i was just like mm, let me wait for up to two weeks and surprisingly on the 12th day i got a message from them that the item was in nigeria and i should pay for shipping charge and also pay for the shipping fee for them to send it down to benin city because their office is in lagos and i'm in benin city so i made all the payments and they sent my package to me in good shape in good form and i was really really excited so i'm going to attach some um, clips in the end for you guys to see what i'm talking about so i've been using them continuously and I'm really really excited i'm really really impressed at their customer service and everything like god just basically sent those people to me at the right time when i needed them like in less than two weeks my package gets to me i was able to bypass the dollar or the black market rate the only part that i cannot bypass that black market rate is when i'm paying for shipping because i have to pay them here in nigeria so at least that's okay considering the fact that it's just the shipping fee 
but when I'm buying the item, I do the buying myself. And when the item comes and it's not exactly what I thought I was buying, I can still chat up with the supplier and tell them, oh, this was what I ordered for and this was what you sent. And you know, but when you're using an agent, you don't get all those privileges. Though for some agents, some agents might go extra miles, but there's nothing like you doing your stuff yourself. And I was really happy that I was able to like, you know, buy these items myself. So guys, this came in well packed. Like this came well packed and I didn't even have any issues with anything. Like all these are uh, containers that I want to use for my hair care brand. And you can see the huge carton. So there's even a bigger one inside. Yeah, so that's it. Like their yeah, services is really, really amazing. So guys, this is my third package and it came in some days back. And I'm about to unbox so I can check to see if everything is complete. So I decided to like do this video first before unboxing everything. So many random stuff from different suppliers. So that's all for today's video guys if you find this video helpful please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below please subscribe to my channel for more amazing content thanks for watching and bye